There was a fire at the Hotel Inn near the Bristol Airport yesterday at around 2.30 a.m. Guess, guess who was involved in it? I don't think I need to tell you, but I will anyway. It was illegal immigrants. That's what they're not telling you. That's what they refuse to tell you. The media report on the subject and say a man's been arrested and a man's been held on suspicion of arson. Like, they've actually admitted it's arson for a change, but they haven't admitted the fact that it was an illegal immigrant that committed the fire. So the fire at the Holiday Inn was started by setting clothes on fire basically in the room and the fire brigade was called at 2.30 a.m. They went in to extinguish the clothing and nobody was injured but they had to run in and rescue one person who was in there. The fire was started by illegal immigrants setting fire to their clothes, putting them into a pile and then barricading the room basically. So ultimately they was hoping on this fire spreading further and causing more damage which I think the goal was to get them put into houses or moved out of the accommodation because they didn't like where they were staying. What the media are not telling you is it was illegal immigrants that are housed in this hotel. It's one that I've had on my list. It's one that the media have reported and said that refugees are moving into the location. But ultimately, the media refused to acknowledge the fact that it was an illegal immigrant that set fire to the building, and I don't think they ever will. Two separate fire stations had to come down and help extinguish the fire. They had breathing apparatus, etc. They didn't really know what they were walking into. But ultimately, illegal immigrant has set fire to the Holiday Inn, kind of the same tactics they use on Napier Barracks etc is where they just want to um, get themselves put into a, a house rather than staying in a hotel and places like that. So ultimately I'd be looking towards the NGOs and seeing if they've got any sort of action towards this because ultimately this happens all throughout Europe and it happens all over the country but people barely report it. I did try contacting the Holiday Inn to get a statement but they refused to answer any of my questions. But to make things clearer for everybody, it is an illegal immigrant that set fire to the room. They set fire to their clothes, which, you know, the taxpayer bought for them. And then what they did is they ran out of the room. Fire brigade was called. Fire brigade put out the fire around 2.30 a.m. And then from there, the hotel got evacuated. Where they are now, I'm not too sure. Another illegal immigrant setting fire to a um, hotel. Whether they're arrested or deported or not, I very much doubt it. Now, this hotel has been housing them since April. The reviews aren't great, for instance. They weren't great before the uh, illegal immigrants moved in. So now the reviews are just terrible. Obviously, people are getting refused access to the hotel because they're housing illegal immigrants. Like the, the reviews are on TripAdvisor and Google. The local council have said that the hotel is used as a temporary accommodation for refugees. They're not refugees, they're illegal immigrants. But ultimately, they're saying it's temporary accommodation until they get housed or moved on further. But we all know that they stay in there from six months to a year and then they go into a council house. This guy who set fire to the um, hotel clearly didn't want to wait that six months to a year. He wanted one now. So just to round up, basically, the holiday in near Bristol Airport was set on fire by illegal immigrants. One of them was arrested. I very much doubt they'll be deported or detained for too much longer. I very much doubt they'll even be charged because they can't really prove anything because they never could. They couldn't even charge anyone for the fire in Napier Barracks. So I very much doubt they'll be charged for the fire. But ultimately, going forward from this, it seems like this could be a more frequent thing happening this summer because all the NGOs, they're pushing and they're pushing and they're pushing for more and more and more. And they're using these people as pawns and ultimately, they're going to play into the game. There's going to be more violence, there's going to be more fires, and there's going to be more trouble. And the government needs to get a grip fast because this is going to spiral out of control quicker than people realise.